<laughs> hey, um, Makolo? I've been thinking about something. Put your dick inside me. Huh? Really? After Ofumi and Taka's bodies disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura... Scissored. And we came to the right repository too, you know? Look around. But when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. It was locked? Mm. And we came here as soon as the search started, but there's no way someone could have beat us here. So if that's true, then who locked it and why isn't it unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there. But I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. Right. Oh, oh no, that's Taka. Okay. Taka. He'll never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from a blade to the head. We found just this hammer fall near his body and equipment room. Is that what he used to kill him? And there's a tarp laid out underneath under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? That way there wouldn't be any blood left behind while ta while the body was moved. Blue tarp has been added to the truth bullets. Blue tarp has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Oh, yes. There we go, bit of Brian blessed. There are hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall, although some are more like mallets. Mallets? Could the Justice Hammers have been designed using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers here have obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait! For some reason this hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? It's a dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before, I guess it's used to move statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Huh? But wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? Okay, so it's moved to move the bodies. Or Taka's body, at least. And look at the wheel. There's a blood stain on it. It says blood on the wheel of the dolly. It was moved from the equipment room to a repository. I'll see explanation for that. Well, pretty obvious. I mean, it's literally right there. Ifumi's big, cold body is laying on the floor. His really big body. I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? From the nurse's office, where he discovered to hear the repository. All the way from the first floor to the second, and without anyone noticing? How the hell? It's no good. I just don't get it. I can, I can think about it later. But now I have to finish investigating Ifumi myself. If I remember correctly, Ifumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from Justice Hammer 3, which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh, wait. Something's off about the body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Ifumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it! His glasses! When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. Oh shit. Yeah. But now, they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? Who would do that, and why? Biaka, do you really think Hiro did it? I don't see anyone ha could think otherwise when the attacks and murders and disappearances of all happened, every one of us had an alibi. The last thing Fumi said when he died. Yeah, he said Hiro's name. So in other words, then there was no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it? Why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's a fool of the century, you see? I mean, he is kind of dumb. But do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And is that it? That's all that bothers you about this case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. They probably figured that if we can find the bodies, we can complete, complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Again, it'd come back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? 
The other thing that bothers me is why they bother why they bother killing two people? What? Because the all the rules say is if you kill someone you can get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're a kid, your number one priority is not getting caught, but killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. I see. Hold on, perhaps I see. So that's what that means. I, is everything okay? That's Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Huh? What's with the attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I may have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he'd figure something out. But if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? There's only one way in and out of this room. Through the door that Hina said was locked before. There's definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from inside the repository. I don't see any way to lock it from the out room. Hmm. Door can only be locked from inside the repository, which makes me wonder... Hina and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies, and the door is designed so they can only be locked from the inside of the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims that there's no way someone could have beaten them to a repository. So that certain someone <coughs> was already inside. Hmm, there's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. First, the office, nurse's office, where Fumi was found. Then the equipment room, when Taco was found. However, I'm going to call out a day because my throat is saying this is a very bad idea for me to record a lot of it. So, until next time, I've been Dark there. This has been Danganronpa. Goodbye.